What's up guys, how are you doing? New tutorial here about the magic scape panel. So this is a very nice Patagonian image and we want to enhance a little bit the sky because I think it's a little bit boring, right? So we can go to effects and we can use the brushes in order to brush a new, some new clouds in order to brush some new clouds or we can just replace the sky we have with some custom made sky you can see here or once you download the magic scape panel you get also over 140 custom made skies which you can load directly from here so let's say i want to just brush some clouds so i go to brushes i select the first cloud for example Magic Scape panel will automatically select the brush with this cloud and you can just click once and give it a go. And as you can see, you have a very nice sky. Just warning, you have to create an empty layer. It's the best practice, like basics of Photoshop, guys. Sure. So create a new layer, call it, call it clouds clouds like this and now you can just brush easily like this and you have this amazing looking clouds which by the way I personally shot in South Africa in Cape Town so you have most of these are South African skies which is really awesome so keep in mind that all of these skies can be tweaked as usually you do with your normal brushes so you can right click adjust the size for example like this and you can have another size for your clouds okay so you can basically decide which clouds you want and where you want them of course you have a lot of very nice cool looking skies for example like this one and if you want of course get rid of this part here you have just to apply a layer mask and brush over it and get rid of those parts so as you can see really amazing custom made brushes you will not find them anywhere else only in the magic scape panel the second option is to replace the sky so you have just to choose which sky you really want click on the sky you want let the magic scape panel and photoshop work a little bit and after a few seconds you have your new amazing looking sky personally i prefer the other way on this image so i would go to brushes choose a very nice looking sky maybe something like this and just brush in some new skies just to give it a go give it a little bit more personality or something like that but basically it's of course guys it's up to you okay so this is for sky replacement brushes and all the all the sweet stuff which is included in the magic scape panel stay tuned for other tutorials which will be coming up very soon if you still don't have the magic scape panel you can get it from the link i will leave in the description so see you soon guys